When black people qualify as a racist, any black man or woman who defends their own against devils, such as those within the pale-skinned group, are called many things, and racist so happens to be one of the latest. Until I have enslaved you for more than 300 years, raped your girls, your mother, and your boys, established a wealthy nation from your labor, burned out, beat, and lynched you during Reconstruction, demonized you in the media, reduced jobs and good education in your community, seeded guns within your communities, created and doctored laws tailored for locking up the maximum number of pale-skinned persons, only then will I, a black man, be a racist. This is your host, T. West. Welcome to Afro Synergy. You don't get stuff like this nowhere. This is changing. This is changing uh, entertainment. It's changing education. This is epic. Y'all better receive Sarnetta Studio. When you're ready for the latest breakdowns, latest news, latest presentations, there's only one place to go, and that is Sarnetta Studios. Black man, wake up. Black woman, wake up. Sign at a studio, the greatest media on the planet. We right back at you. Thank you for having me, House of Consciousness. I love you. Peace. Check out the channel, Sign at a Studios. The brother's going to be bringing a lot of lectures through. You get your live lectures. You're going to get some on-point documentaries and things of that nature. So make sure that you subscribe, spread the word, let your peoples know. Sign at a Studio is the new channel. All right, peace. Tune in.
Snub Nub 7 at the Reality Temple. And to give props to him, because I listen to all of Angel Snub Nub 7's videos, I think that um, he comes from a different angle, and there's a powerful message in a lot of the videos that he put out, and I try to catch all of them. I, I look at him as a free thinker and a person that's willing to challenge those of which he don't agree with or which he may think differently from, and I really respect him for that. He's challenged KB, KMBS, and he has also challenged the black supremacy movement as well. And I have nothing against that because that which cannot be challenged cannot be stand, cannot stand and will not stand and will not survive the test of time. How many challenges we can withstand will determine how long we will be able to stand. Huh? Hey. The goddamn hey. It's a miracle white girls to stand by no goddamn hey. We keep making too many excuses. But I see them walking around in our communities with pride and dignity and valor and they're taking us down in our community and we just allow them. And we forgive them. But we can't forgive the person that we call the police on. There's nothing that you cannot forgive a black person of. The enemy. Repeat that after me. There's nothing that I cannot forgive a black person of. There's nothing I cannot forgive a black person of. There's nothing that I cannot forgive a black person of. There's nothing I cannot forgive a black person of. Police make mistakes, kill black people in the streets, and you know why they get off? Because the police department forgives them. They have stronger integrity than we have. While we are rallying against them and marching against them, we need to learn something from one of the most powerful institutions in America and in the world, yeah. integrity. So we need the same or stronger integrity. You all hear me? Oh, yeah. They will not take each other down for nothing. I'm hearing stories about police officers charged with rape and charged with molestation and assault. And they're working right back in the damn force. Huh. There's nothing that they cannot do that will break the integrity of the institution. Come and on. until we can build an institution that's strong and powerful, Come we'll on, continue man. to be victims of white supremacy. Come on, now. Give it to us. Do you hear me? We got to stop playing the victim role and start studying the strategies and tools of the victims. And then we will have victory. And that's what black supremacy is about before I end this long black discord. Supremacy. Black supremacy is about us understanding how we're going to be the victims, the science of victory, coming into the supremacy of who we are. So, so for some people, the word supremacy bothers them. I have weak Negroes talking to me, talking about, why are you talking about supremacy? Isn't that racism? I said, well, go tell the white man's Supreme Court that that's racism. Because you don't have a problem with him using it. Huh? How many justices sit on the Supreme Court and how many of them are black? The majority of them are white. That's white supremacy. So tell them you have a problem with them being supreme. Right. Don't tell your black liberator that you have a problem with being supreme. That's what black supremacy is about. It's about us stepping up into who we are. We acknowledge what we went through. We acknowledge the, the oppression. But when do we begin to transform ourselves into gaining the type of success that we want? When do we stop complaining and start coming plain? When do we stop that and come into the power of who we are? When do we say we're not going to spend no money with the white man? When do we say we're not going to pay his rent no more? When do we do it? 
the black supremacists are doing it. Yeah, that's right. We're doing it today. We, we, we got a community that we're setting up as black town. All right, come on. We're taking over forests and beginning to set up our own encampments. We're taking it back the land. We're doing it. But we're not leaving our people out because there is no utopia without total and absolute black liberation. That's why I come down here to the West End. I live off the grid. I'm not, I don't deal with what this white man has got going on here. I've learned how to live off the grid. But I come down here because I love the people. And it's for the people. But we need to get into black supremacy. Don't be scared to be supreme. Because until you can have an idea of supremacy, then you'll continue to let the guilt concept of white supremacy continue to imprison you. You are imprisoned by the guilt consciousness of white supremacy. We talk about white guilt, but we never talk about black guilt. Black guilt is more predominant than white guilt. That's why we allow ourselves to be policed. That's why we allow our brothers and sisters and uncles to spend their life in prison and we don't think nothing about it but to send them a, a ladder, a kite. Because we have a deep sense of black guilt. The nigga is guilty when he get out of the womb. And the darker you are, the more charges you got. Mm -hmm. Black guilt has to be destroyed. And black supremacy destroys black guilt. That's right. How many Jews did Hitler have to kill to try to create a strong Germany? How many Germans do you feel was guilty about it? Do you hear me? How, why are you guilty about what you're going to have to do for your empowerment and your liberation? We always got to make excuses to white people. Oh, we're not really racist. We're not really this. We whatever by any means necessary. And we got to be a racist to liberate our people. I'm a goddamn racist and I hate the damn guy. Okay, by any goddamn means necessary. So if I got to be a racist, then damn it, I'm a racist. But then we want to make, we get guilty. I love all people and I don't want to be like the enemy was. But you envy what the enemy has when you go to Walmart and Target and, and you go to Spiegel and Macy's. Say, I don't want to be like the enemy is. But when I talk about black supremacy, you say, I want to be like the enemy is. When I talk about capitalism, you say, I want to be like the enemy is. How convenient. That's a contradiction. If you're going to give up the enemy, then give up trying to be like him. Give up his cars, his Lexuses, his clothes, his suit and ties, his school. Right. Give up all this goddamn shit. Uh, don't just say when I say about black supremacy, you know, we don't want to be like the white man. Too late. You're already like the white man. Look at yourself. You're not speaking your language or your culture, nothing like that. If you lust after the world, the white man. That's a fact. So when I mention black supremacy, you say, well, let me get the best of what the goddamn white man has, which is the supremacy in America. Am I teaching? You're not talking about governing your own people. See, supremacy guarantees that you can do it. Everything else is begging. When you become supreme, you have no other excuse than what you can implement in the world. Everything else is begging. The Supreme Court is in a position to say, this is the final ruling, am I right? Well, what does this black supremacist have a ruling to say? Until you become supreme, you are not worthy to bring into the world what you're saying. There's other ideologies and doctrines and ideas that are greater than that what you have. You accept that. When we say black supremacy, there's no race, no man, no ideology, or nothing on this planet higher than us. And that's the only reason you cannot rule us. If we are supreme, how can you rule us? When you say, I don't want you to rule me, I don't want you over me, I don't want you to tell me what to do no more, by default, I am saying that I am supreme. That's right. Is that a fact? Yes. The police fool you over? You, don't, you know, a lot of uh, youth today, when they get in confrontation with the police, they say, I don't want to do nothing you say, leave me alone, I don't want to be bothered with what you have, fuck you. <laughs> One